For some of us content creators, the introduction is what caused us to stare at the blank screen. You have all the ideas packed up in your mind, but because you are OCD, you are a perfectionist, you've got to write the introduction first before anything else. So in this video, we're going to show you a couple of ways to write awesome blog post introductions in seconds so you don't have to worry about writer's block. Let's check it out. Hey, it's Jack from RankMath, the one WordPress SEO plugin that constantly strives to provide you with the fastest and the most cutting-edge SEO tools. And on this channel, we are all about helping you grow your search traffic. So if you're new to us, consider subscribing. All right, let's talk about writing awesome blog post introductions. And in case you want to understand what makes a good blog post introduction, we have an entire video talking about that right here. You can check it out. The link is in the description as well. Anyway, there are three ways you can write amazing blog post introductions with Content AI. Let's start with the first. Okay, assuming you're writing an article in the WordPress editor on a topic, benefits of vertical gardening, to use the blog post introduction tool in a content area, simply hit double slashes and search for intro and you will see the tool here. Alternatively, go to the content AI tab at the top right and on the third icon, here's where you can find the tool. This is nested under the blog category. All right, let's talk about the specifics, starting with the post title. The post title field is the only required field of this tool, denoted by this red asterisk. Whatever you add to this field will tell Content AI that you want an introduction written about the topic you have added here. And since our topic is the benefits of vertical gardening, we will add that here. Simple as that. Keep the input within 200 characters. Let's hit generate and see what we can expect. Here we go. As you add more variables here, it will influence the output. Later on, we'll compare this output with the rest and you can see which tool is better for you. For now, let's see what variables we can add to influence the output. The audience is the group of people who will be consuming your content. You see, there are many preset audiences you can choose from. If you are not targeting the general audience, you can delete it. And let's say you're writing about a finance topic specific to business owners and startups. You can select business owners and possibly entrepreneurs as your audience. You can choose as many audiences as you want, but as long as they make sense. But for our case, it will be gardeners and possibly home gardeners, but we do not have a preset for that. So we will customize it. Let's type home gardeners for each new audience you add. Hit a comma so that a tag will be created for it. Now let's talk about the focus keyword field. The focus keyword field is for you to add those keywords or key phrases you want Content AI to include in your blog post introduction. As you know, including the main focus keyword in the first few sentences of your article is one of the best SEO practices. So it is logical to add the main focus keyword of your article you're trying to rank for in that field. Typically, the main focus keyword is going to be the same or adapted from your post title. That's at least for the first keyword. You could include other keywords like pros or vertical guidance. Gardening. You can add as many keywords as you want, but the keyword you want your article to rank for should be the first. Don't go overboard and stuff every keyword you can think of here. Content AI will only use keywords that make sense contextually anyway. Now, if you find it challenging to choose the right keywords to add to this field, you can always rely on the content AI analysis to get smart suggestions. Click to copy the keyword and back to the tool to paste it. Now, let's talk about the tone field. With the tone field, you can select the desired tone for the introduction. If your audiences are business owners or lawyers, and it is a serious topic, it will be logical to keep the tone as formal. But you can add multiple tones such as conversational, so that it won't sound too boring. But for our case, well, speaking to gardeners, we should be friendly, informal, and maybe conversational. And if you can't find a suitable tone here, you can always customize one, such as having an excited tone if your topic is something new to your audience. And as always, the comma. This tone view will influence how Content AI will write the introduction. By default, US English is selected and your output will be in that language. And if you want to choose another language, you have to remove this. And as you can see, there are many languages you can choose from. Currently, this is the list of languages available in Content AI. As we progress, more languages will be added. So if you have a language you would like us to add to the list, do let us know in the comments or contact our friendly support team. 
you see this little box with a number at the bottom left. This number determines the number of blog post introductions you want Content AI to generate. The maximum number of intro ideas Content AI can generate at a time is 5. But let's generate one for now. And here we go. If you don't think this generator intro is good enough, simply increase this number and generate more. Or you can tweak the inputs and generate it again. Alright, let's see. I really like this introduction and I want to use it in a blog post. You see this insert option here? Click on it and it will be added to your editor. Alright, that's for the blog post introduction too. If you want a more flexible way to write your blog post introduction, then let me introduce you to the next method which is the AI command method. Alright, how the AI command method works is very simple. Just like how you would call on an AI tool, you would hit double slashes. And instead of searching for a tool, you would give a command to content AI. Such as write an introduction on the topic benefits of vertical gardening. It should include a summary of why it is easier to maintain a vertical garden as opposed to a horizontal garden. It should also include a compelling explanation of why homeowners and business owners with limited space but with an interest in gardening should create a vertical garden. As well as a hint that vertical gardening benefits fits both humans and the environment. You see, with this command, I am telling Content AI what exactly I want in the introduction instead of relying on the AI completely. Let's hit enter, give it a while, and Content AI will write a cool introduction for you. What do you think? I think it is good. Now here's the issue. If you think this is a good output and you want to reuse the same set of command later on to produce an introduction for some other topics, you can't retrieve that command again. So what I would normally do is I will write the command in the block instead of directly in the AI command you've seen earlier. You gotta make sure that the entire command is in the same block. If it is in a different block, for example, I hit enter and I type something else, whatever there is out of this block will not be considered in the output. So if this command is ready, I will click anywhere on that block, click on the command center and hit run as command. And content AI will write the introduction for you. In this case, you can copy this set of command and paste it somewhere else and use it for some other blog post. Believe me, this will save you a ton of time with trial and error. Anyway, let's move on to the next method of writing an introduction with Content AI. To use this write tool, you can click on the Content AI tab. And on the second icon, this is the right tool we are looking for. Alternatively, on your WordPress dashboard, hover to Rank Math SEO, go to the Content AI module, and use its editor. This on the right is the right tool. This will give you the best of both worlds. You have the instructions, just like what you would do in the AI command method, and you have other variables in the blog post introduction too, such as the tone field, the focus keyword field, and you can decide on the length of the introduction. The short option will generate about one to two sentences, medium will generate about three to four sentences, and the long option will give you at least five sentences. Anyway, let's add the same set of instructions as we did in the AI command. You have to keep your instructions within 600 characters, and let's say we want the tone to be friendly and conversational. Similarly, you can customize a tone if you want to, say excited, hit a comma, Let's add the main focus keyword here, benefits of vertical gardening, and add the secondary keywords. Then I will select the long option. Let's hit generate, give it a while. Here we go. What do you think? Now I need your help. I need you to let us know which of the generated introductions is the best in your opinion. I've picked out the best output for each method, but if you can't see them properly, I will b-roll the results one by one. You can pause and read each of the introductions at your own pace. So help us out. Let us know which of them you would use if you were to write an article on the topic benefits of vertical gardening. I have labeled each of the intro. So take your pick, leave your answer in the comment section. We really appreciate that. All right, is your answer in the comments? If yes, Thank you so much. And how about a thumbs up for this video? Anyway, I want to share two more important things with you about Contents AI. Now, let's say that you have generated quite a number of introductions with different variations, but you find that one of the past generated outputs is good, but you have accidentally deleted them from your content area. Let me show you how you can retrieve that. Now, if you want to restore one of the generated output from the blog post introduction too, right at the top, there is a history button where it will show you all the past generated output of the tool you are on. 
However, if you want to retrieve the generated outputs for all other tools, on the Content AI module, here's the History tab. Click on it, and you will see all the past generated output accumulated from all tools. Just hover to what you need, copy it, and you can paste it to your content area again. When using some of our AI tools, you will find that some of the fields are pre-entered, such as the general audience, the formal tone, and the US English language. If you want to change these default settings to something else, like in our example, we don't want to constantly change the audience from the general audience to gardeners, what you would do is to hover over Rank Map SEO, go to its general settings under Content AI, and you can change the default tone, audience, and language. Just make sure that whatever change you make, remember to save it. And the next time you use the tool again, the changes will take effect. So with this, I hope that you'll be able to write a captivating blog post introduction in seconds that will draw readers into other parts of your article. If you have any suggestions, feedback, or experiences you'd like to share with us using this tool, please leave a comment down below. We are constantly improving our AI tools, so your input is super important to us. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button. If you have done that, thank you. And to learn more about SEO and keep yourself updated on it, subscribe to our channel. This is Jack from Rank Math. I'll see you in the next video.